When standing here and looking back on history, you will see an intricate world. Continents influence each other in many ways. The discovery of America affects the price of Chinese products. And what happens in the grassland of Central Asia even has influence on North Africa. Following the footsteps of businessmen, pilgrims and herdmen, these great influences spread to every corner of the world through a network that existed 2000 years ago. And this network is the famous ancient Silk Road. Hi, I am Yvonne from the Netherlands. I love traveling and living in China. In this documentary, I'm going to take you along the Silk Road. We will travel from Xi'an all the way to Urumqi in the far west. On our journey, we will explore the past and the present. In ancient times, Xi'an was once called Chang'an, and it's always been considered the starting point of the Silk Road. Close your eyes and imagine how prosperous this city once was in 2000 years ago. merchants on the streets came from all over Asia, including Japan and Korea. In the West Market of Chang'an, the merchants had shops, and in those shops they sold goods, like jewelry and spices. Even today, you can still see the traces that were left from trade in Xi'an. Nan, or Hubing, originated in the Han and Tang dynasties. It's kind of a Central Asian food that was introduced by the Songians, who were very popular on the Silk Road during those days. As the glory of the Silk Road has gone away with history, Xinjiang has become an inclusive and modern city with ethnic characteristics. In 2013, President Xi introduced the Belt and Road Initiative, which evokes memory of the familiar history. Following the footsteps of the travelers and saints who moved around with commodities and faith, we promote trade, invest in sea and land channels and cooperate and communicate with other countries. Perhaps the pivot of the world is drifting back to China and the Silk Road that has played a key role for more than a thousand years. <laughs>